Hey guys! So, I have a video for you today on my, no, wait, yeah, November Ipsy bag. Um, this isn't going to be like an open it with me, as you can see it's already open. Um, my husband and I, this might sound goofy, but we always like open it together, I don't know, it's just cute. Maybe I should do a video with him opening it with me. Anyway, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about what I got in my Ipsy bag and what I think about it. And I was actually really excited to do this because I think this is the best Ipsy bag I've ever gotten. I'm I'm pretty much positive. Um, and now that I think about it, I'm really mad that I didn't use the eyeliner out of here for this look, but oh well, it doesn't matter. So, um, here is the Ipsy bag itself. This might mess with the camera, <laughs> but it's super duper sparkly and beautiful. And then it's got the pink. This is actually with Forever 21, I think. Yeah, Forever 21 Cosmetics for Ipsy, which is a little tag inside. I thought that was neat. Actually, my husband noticed that. I didn't even notice that. Um, yeah, so I thought that was cool. I think the bag is cute. It always makes me excited when it's a cute bag. So the first thing in here is this Marc Anthony Oil from Morocco, Argan Oil, Volume, Shine, Sulfate Free, Hairspray, Extra Hold, Fast Drying, Infused with Keratin. Lots of stuff going on with this. And at first, I was like, well, at first, first, when I saw that it was a hairspray, I was like, eh, I don't like hairsprays. I'm not a hairspray person. However, um, I saw that it had the argan oil in it, and that kind of excited me, so that it's not going to be so crunchy and sticky and gross and weird. Um, and I actually really like this so far. I can move my hair around. It's not crunchy. I can feel, oh, oh, you. Okay, I can feel that there's something in my hair, um, but it doesn't, I, I don't dislike the feeling. It doesn't feel gross, it doesn't feel weird. Um, I wouldn't say it gives that much shine, but then maybe it does if the hair was a little cleaner. Anyway, so I'm gonna keep trying this out, but so far I actually really like this. And I think this will be the only hairspray I've ever said that about. So, first things first, thumbs up. All right, next thing I'm gonna pull out of my Ipsy bag. This is the J-Cat Wonder Lip Paint. And this is in Red Potion. Looks like this, and I was so, oh my god, I don't even know if you guys can see that. I really was super excited about this um, because I love OCC lip tars and just lip paint products in general. Um, however, this, if you're thinking it's going to be like a lip tar, it is not thick like a lip tar. If you've used one, you know what I mean. Um, it's very thin and almost liquidy and it's not opaque. Um, you do have to put on a few layers, but even with one very thin layer, this bleeds like a mother like this bleeds so bad so this stuff I was really excited about um, but it feathers but maybe I'll get um, you know makeup forever Too Faced so on and so forth they make the clear lip pencils that you put around the outside of your lips maybe I'll try that but I mean I use the lip liner I use concealer I have taught many people how to make lipstick not bleed and I could not get this to not bleed and I really don't have liney lips let me see here. All right, so when it comes out, it looks really dark like it does in the tube. But when you blend it out, when you apply it to your lips, it looks kind of more like this. And see how it's kind of patchy and not kind of, not completely opaque all the way? Yeah, that's what it looks like on your lips. So, uh, great product idea and amazing color, but I don't know. I guess I'm just going to have to really work with that. and get all this stuff off my hands. <laughs> all right, next is the um, Elizabeth Mott You're So Fine Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Glitterati. Um, I was really excited to see this, and honestly, I think this retails for like $17.50 or $17 something like that. Um, and this is a full size. So it's a liquid liner, and it has um, a brush applicator, and it's a black with little silver shimmers in it. Let's see if I can get it so you guys can see. All right, let me put the cap back on. There we have it. There you go. I think you guys can see. My mirror's in the way. Okay. So you can see it's just a really nice black liner with those, um, with the little silver glitters. And it's really, really pretty. I wore it, uh, like the day after I got it and I loved it. So,
And then the next thing is the uh, Be A Bombshell Submissive Eye Base. And it looks like this. And it is a beautiful color. The only thing I wish, and now like same thing like with this, this is still a great product, I can work with it, whatever. Um, this is beautiful, it just doesn't have as much color payoff as you would, gosh, this thing, as you would want or you would think it would have, but it's okay because you know, I still used it and it was still gorgeous on the eye. And there it is there, I really kind of built up this watch so you can see. Sorry, I made a mess of that lip paint. So yeah, it's just this beautiful kind of like champagne-y gold color, um, which is awesome because this can be used almost under almost anything. Um, so that's really great. I do still use a primer with this. Um, my eyes crease extremely easily, so whatever. But yeah, so this is that, and that is amazing. And then the last product, I was really surprised to see this in here. This is the Temp2 um, silicone base. That's what SB means as far as I know. Um, highlighter and pink pearl. I know this is silicone based so that would only make sense. Um, so it looks like this. Oh, let me spin it. So, okay. So you guys can kind of see a little bit of that pink there. This is beautiful. I am really, really impressed with it. I had it on, have it on today, but it's, it's very subtle. Um, or at least subtle to me. <laughs> but, uh, it's beautiful. So when you squeeze a little bit out, it is like very liquidy. And then, let's see, I'm not going to blend out all the way, so hopefully you guys can see it. You can kind of see there the per or the pink. It's kind of a lot more, in it's, it's a darker pink than it's showing up. It's not quite such a light pink, but, all right, there we go. It is gorgeous. I'm really, really impressed with this. Um, the only thing I could like about this more is if it was gold instead of pink because I'm not really a pink person but that does not make the product bad obviously it is an amazing product um, and if they have this in gold which I'm sure they do I will purchase it Um, so yeah, that is my whole Ipsy bag for the month of November. Like I said, this is hands down by far the best Ipsy bag I've ever gotten. Like, you know, even the, even the product that I thought I would not like, cause I'm not a hairspray fan, I really like it. Um, so I mean, everything here is so me. Anyway, so I loved November's Ipsy bag. Absolutely worth it. And if this is how much I think it is, which I said was like $17.50 or something like that, that's incredible. That pays for the bag almost twice. Um, so yeah, that is awesome. Uh, and if you guys have an Ipsy bag, let me know what you got. Um, let me know uh, what you got, if you got anything different, if you liked those products, if you didn't. Let me know if you got any of these products and if you like them or if you don't and why. If you've got any suggestions on how to keep this from bleeding everywhere, let me know because this is an amazing color and I wanna wear it. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling now. And so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you did, and I can start doing these every month. Um, if not, we'll forget about it. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!